Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Does I, Captain of the Stevenson. Today, chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I've actually made a droid feeding farm on a nice, flat, lush planet. And I've got my fish feeders down here, so that's automated. All these feeders here are feeding all these little droids on this little planet. I've got myself a lovely little hut up here where I can sit and watch everything go by if I wish. And I've got this down here as well. It's got a couple of carbon racks in there, so I can actually make some more bait sticks to feed the droids as and when. I think this all looks quite nice. I've also got two more of those around the side of the little hut up there as well. So I can ambiently feed those. There's enough power here to power everything from that little hut over there, little island. And um, yeah, I can just fish off the side of here. So brilliant, eh? So let's uh, jump on over into here. Let's do a little bit of fishing. Lovely. Have I still got bait on my line? Hopefully I have. Yes, the bionic law. And hopefully we're going to catch ourselves a little fishy. Look yeah, Got you. And again, I've got it on auto catch, so I don't really even need to touch the joypad. Now, I put together a massive video, a 40 minute video on how to make an automated farm. I put a link up there so you can go and watch that in full. So you know all the prerequisites and what went into actually finding this place. Now, I found this over on Reddit. I didn't find this planet. This was, um, yeah, a Reddit find. So if I can bring up the old discoveries type area, I'll show you who discovered this. It was Scotty 1972 and the planet is called New Bobby. Pretty darn nice. And it's in the system Hoffen Redo. And it was actually found by DJ Lemon Mouse M. So there you go, people. Credit where credit's due and all that sort of shenanigans. But if you do want to come here, by all means, please do. Portal code down in the bottom left corner of the screen. I'll try and make that as big as I can for you guys in the view of us. Right. Well, let's go see how this automated harvesting has gone so far i mean i've only been here the time that it's taken me to build this base and i've got 17 chewy wires already in there so in no time at all i've already outdone my previous base in a roundabout way now i can put a couple of harvester units here when it comes to say the uh, the air so i can put one of those here for oxygen perhaps i just want to put this out of the way a little i'll probably put it around the back of my hut i'll put it just here Okay, cool. Yeah, wrong button. No, yeah, right button. Lovely. Now, these things here, you have to independently fuel those. I'm going to get nitrogen out of that one. We're preferred oxygen, to be fair. But there we go. Yeah, you can't always get what you want, can you? But there we go. Done, diddly, and done. Pretty darn nice. Now, I'm not that far away from my portal. The portal's over there where my starship is right now. So as long as I look out across the pier, I can see the portal over there. So I can quickly get to a portal from this as well. So this is my droid fishing farm. So the idea is I fill these up with these bait sticks, which I can make from carbon. Nice and easy. Then I can go down here, start doing some fishing. Hap chow. And while I'm fishing, I'm getting nanites from these guys fishing over in the background over there and I can just turn it like that I've got it on auto catch anyway so I can actually see what's going on up there anyhow and hopefully I'm going to be getting a lot of chewy wires catching a load of fish I can release the fish I can get nanites from the fishing and then I can also get nanites from the, you know, the droids there you go I could even cast there if I wanted to people so catching and releasing fish feeding the droids I should get myself a shed load of nanites. This is a lovely little nanite farm and it's just so relaxing. You know, you could just throw this on in the background while you're doing something else. And this ambient nanite farm. Yeah, the joy. There you go. So there we go. Caught a fish. So what I mean by releasing the fish, you just go into your menu, go to a fish and release it. And you can see there I got some nanites for that. There you go. So I got myself 105 nanites for releasing that fish. But not only that, I can go up to here and from just using carbon, I can go over to this thing. Well, I've got 23 now. Take those out of there. Over here. And I can just eat these. You consume them like so. Now I've got that on auto confirm. And I've got 178 there. So what do I mean by auto confirm? If you go into options and you go into, I think it's, it's either in general or accessibility. I think it might be in accessibility. But you can make it so you can just um, hold to confirm, always instant. So just change that to always instant and you'll be able to do what I'm doing there. And if you want to auto fish, 
like I was doing, where you don't have to touch the joypad. You go into your settings, go all the way down to the bottom, and just turn fishing to auto catch, and then you're automatically going to catch your fish. So that makes everything far more relaxing, far more sort of ambient in its way of doing stuff. And yeah, and just go back to fishing. And this is my little automatic nanite farm now, people. Lovely. There you are. So you go, peeps, if you do want to come here, if you do want to build your own little farm like this, please do. What I would say, though, is if you turn your back on the droids and you're not looking at the droids, sometimes you don't get as many cheery wires because they can despawn. If the creatures despawn, you're not going to get your chewy wires. Now, I've built on this small little island where hopefully I'm guaranteed to always get droids appear, but I don't know whether that's a certainty. This base could end up being completely redundant in a, in a week or two if the droids stop spawning here. That's a bit of a problem when it comes to creating droid nanite farms, is if the droids don't spawn, you don't get your nanites. It'd be nice if we could have pens and we could pen these in or something. Or have some sort of fauna spawner that guarantees that fauna is going to spawn in that location on a planet. I think we need one more bit of kit to make this work perfectly. But at the moment it's working perfectly. But that could change in a week or two. You know? Or it could change when they release Worlds Part 2. This might not be a droid planet anymore. Anyway, for now it works. And I'm giving you the coordinates. If you want to come here, you want to build a base like this, please do. It's a great way to earn nanites. And we're doing very little. And if you just want it on in the background while you're working or something like that, the music when you're fishing is beautiful anyway. And the sound of the droids is quite relaxing anyhow. So there you are. Salute Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Oh, let's see what I catch. Oh, we got a clam. A shrieking oyster, in fact. <laughs> Bye.